today, as you can see in the back here, we're, we're building the Indigenous Mound Garden. So this will, uh, had a lot of planning into it, and there's been a lot of people involved with this. And you can see, we're even involving heavy machinery now. And there's been a lot of volunteers, which I've asked, and they seem to have a lot of fun with this. The grant started many years ago when students were interested in creating a community garden um, and learning more about uh, Indigenous perspectives on plants and being guided by mentor Andrew McConnell. And they were really interested in, you know, um, knowing not just Western classification, but knowing other classifications um, in order to um, just really honor nature, uh, learn about the environment, and also perfectly uh, fit in our curriculum, which was grade 11 and grade 12 biology. You know, in so many ways uh, of team building, uh, you know, having the opportunity uh, to get their hands in the dirt, uh, to be a part of, uh, you know, in a sense, you know, there's one thing to the Institute of Academia and learning, uh, you know, math and science and all these things. Uh, this, 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 this opportunity that they are a part of is combining all of that in a sense that uh, for 20 years from now, uh, hopefully some of them uh, will have young ones of their own that will be going to the school uh, that will be able to reflect and say you know this is something that we did uh, and so as well uh, there's that legacy that's left for for the students to be a part of but as well uh, when they come back to school in the fall for the ones that are still here uh, when they when they get to do that harvest uh, they're going to actually uh, have something tangible for the fruits of their labor to see this whole garden come together. I, when I was in grade 12 and I met Miss Tu and I reached out regarding the toolkits for my, my project, uh, she mentioned this and to come back now uh, over a year later and see it actually happen and get um, all these students come together is, is amazing and it's actually really empowering that we can do it with just like a team of people which is exactly how this came together. So Aside from what we've learned in Texas, we really don't have any hands-on experience on what Indigenous knowledge keepers have actually taught of previous generations. So uh, passing on this knowledge to us is very important for actually helping preserve their in Indigenous knowledge and actually educate us about how, uh, how important their knowledge actually is to us. I think it's important that students are actually um, leading this project. It's not just Lillian and myself. Actually Lillian and myself are only facilitators in this project. Students is, have expressed interest in learning about Indigenous education, learning about growing vegetables themselves, learning about giving back to our community in multiple ways. And so that's why I think it's important for us to listen to the students and to make those ideas that they have come to reality.